Well, for a couple weeks, I'd been getting really tired. A couple times at dance, I would have to sit down because I'd be getting too dizzy and too tired. Even like climbing the stairs at school was a lot of work. I'd be thinking, you know, like, what, what's wrong with me? This isn't me. I'm in good shape. And then March 19th was the day that I went to go to the doctors and um, get blood work done. That's when he told me that they think that it was cancer. When Dr. Cole came in, I just remember him saying, you know, you have leukemia. That really shocked me. I was a normal teenager who thought, you know, I'm invincible. I don't get illnesses. This only happens to other people. And then I became the other person. So uh, a patient like Carly, as soon as they come in, we start to talk to them about clinical research, what it means to participate in a trial, and the opportunities that that gives the patients, both in terms of new access to care, and also offer them access to drugs that they wouldn't otherwise have access to. Each of the sites within the Nemour Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders are members of the Children's Oncology Group, the only National Cancer Institute cooperative group to do cancer clinical trials in children. Because we have the four practices we have in Wilmington, in Orlando, in Pensacola, and here in Jacksonville, together, when we're all pulling our resources and putting the patients on the same studies, we really have one of the largest programs in the country now. The National Cancer Institute, or the NCI, has developed a network of community oncology research programs called NCORP. Nemours has been designated as one of only two pediatric programs in the nation. There aren't as many pediatric programs that come together to combine uh, research efforts and to bring it to the community. It's, it's really a way to really bring together the four campuses on a research platform. Children are only 1% of all the cancers that occur in the U.S. and so if we didn't all work together we'd never get those answers and know how to improve the care we're giving. And so every patient is offered to participate in research studies. We explain clinical trials to families usually we offer what's the best available treatment or the best available treatment with a tiny change. So we do clinical trials for lots of reasons, but overall to improve the quality of care and the outcomes for our families. Doctors, nurses, all of our support staff, everybody within the Nemours Center of Cancer and Blood Disorders is part of the research team. We're all very much involved in the mission of improving the care of these children. One of our focuses is to maximize the quality of life of that child during treatment and for many, many years to come. Yeah, well, Dr. Colbert asked us to participate in a research. He just explained to us, you know, like the pros of everything for it. And it was good because you know, if she got chosen for certain things, it's kind of like another set of eyes. Just that it's, it's eventually it'll help some other child. At a, at a very fundamental level, at a genetic level, and a biochemical level, childhood cancer is, is different from adult cancer. It, it arises through different, different mechanisms, and as a result, it's not always well treated by the current cancer drugs that were designed for adults. So our goal is to come up with targeted drugs that are specifically designed for kids. Chemotherapy is, are very, very harsh drugs. With these harsh drugs comes the killing of normal cells, and these normal cells are blood cells and cells that grow fast, the cells in your mouth, your hair cells, and these cause a lot of side effects. The tough days were mostly with this round, and I couldn't take care of myself, like with just daily things that you know normal people can do. I didn't have energy to get up by myself or you know even talk sometimes. And we do everything we can to make sure that those side effects are alleviated as much as possible. But um, I've, I've been pretty grateful, and I've been doing well even when I've been doing not so great. <laughs> At Nemours, we have an institutional review board that really oversees the safe and effective um, application of those clinical trials. Nurses are involved in monitoring those patients and reporting out any negative side effects and at any time we could stop those clinical trials if there were concerns. On the clinical side, we've identified uh, genes and mutations that exist in leukemia cells, so a drug can be used to treat it. And Dr. Knapper is working specifically in his lab to find a drug that fits just that cancer. There's really only a very small number of labs nationwide or even worldwide that have that focus, the high throughput screening technology that we have on pediatric disease. We think that this represents our mission, which is a mission to bring clinical research to the community, to bring the best quality of care to the community, and to use the patient experience to drive progress in, in cancer research.
Carly's always taken care of. We're, we're always asked, do we need this, do we need that? It just made everything easy. The child comes first, the family comes first. We will do whatever it takes to give them the care they need the way they want it. I love what I do. You know, when I see a new family, when I walk in the room, that's all I care about. In my career, we've gone from 50% of children with cancer being cured to 80%. We need to get to that 100%. I am looking forward to being home with my parents and my family. Everybody has been really taking care of me and watching over me and making sure that I do stay in remission, that I do stay cancer free.